joining me again in the middle of our Love Revolution 21 Day Challenge to changing the way that we think about life and love. So today's topic is on parenting. And you may go, hey, I'm not a parent, I'm going to tune out right now. Don't do that because all of us have an opportunity to be a parent or a mentor to the children that are around us. Parenting is not easy. I know this from firsthand experience. I have been fortunate enough to have two of my own children. I have two boys who are almost completely grown at this point, and I hate to admit that. Um, fortunately, they still need me, so it's all good. But, you know, um, gosh, I've gone through so many different phases as a parent already. Um, you know, the, the initial, just the whole newborn, I've gone through extreme illnesses with my children, and just, you know, having him in the hospital for a week or more and just, you know, that whole angst that comes with loving this other person. I've gone with the sleepless nights and the terrible twos and the temper tantrums and then just the sweet moments of unadulterated, unconditional love that they offer. I've also gone through some pretty challenging times. Um, both of my boys have gone through puberty already and so it's crazy, <laughs> the hormones and the changes and the shifts and how easy we forget uh, what it was like when we went through that. Um, and I'm just very, very blessed right now that we're in a really good state. I have um, very well-behaved, well-mannered, well-intentioned children. And um, that's not just due to me. Um, they have a wonderful dad and stepmom in their life. And so that uh, takes all three of us to make them who they are. And so... Um, Anyways, this is not a bragging session because I could go on for hours about how much um, I love my kids. But my whole point of, in, into looking at our challenge today is, you know, we have these opportunities, these moments every day to interact with our children um, or the kids around us. I want to keep phrasing in that. And there are so many children in this world that do not have um, either active parents in their lives or people that are standing in the gap to provide the support and stability and the mentoring that they need. Um, and so you have that opportunity, no matter who you are, no matter what your age is, but to stand in that gap for them, to be a father figure, to be a mother figure, to, you know, you can do this as an aunt or an uncle, um, grandparent. There's so many, it, it, you take the label away. Are you going to foster and mentor into a child's life? Um, and that's really what our challenge is about, is speaking kind words and support and love to children around us. Letting them know that they are perfectly accepted just the way they are, the way they were created to be. Um, helping them see their strengths and, and helping them look at the things that may not be socially acceptable at the moment, the awkward bits that they're growing into, but how all of these things round them out to the people that they need to be. You know, a lot of kids out there get bullied. Um, help them see through that. Help them see these wonderful aspects of themselves. I also want to challenge us, those that are parents, to think less about what you think your kids aren't doing right and focus on the positives. Help them become the people that they need to be. It's our responsibility as adults around these children to help raise them into the people that they need to be, to be that next up-and-coming generation that will lead our nations. It's vitally important. Do not look down on a child. They are more powerful than we ever give them credit for. They are more honest and intuitive and intelligent than we would ever want to give them credit for. Um, it's funny because you know you have that moment when you're a teenager and you believe that you know everything. And I'm not really sure that ever goes away. I mean, I think we have these moments and cycles in adulthood where like, crap, I know absolutely nothing. What was I thinking? Um, and then we all have that moment where we're like, oh, I can't believe my parents were actually right about this. You know, we just don't go around bragging about it, right? Um, but really, I think that we lose something. As kids, I think we really more are in tune and knowing more things. Um, and as adults, we kind of get this whole puffed up chest that we know it all. And I just think it's a very arrogant stance to take. Um, I'm proud to say I really know nothing. Um, what I do know is a vast amount, but it's still nothing uh, compared to, you know, the totality of the universe. And so I need to kind of, you know, keep that in check sometimes. So my challenge is, as I went off on my tangent there, just make sure that we're loving into the lives of the children around them. Hug them. Kiss them. Let them know how special and unique they are and let them know that there's absolutely nothing wrong with them no matter who they choose to be in life. It's so the one thing I've always told my boys, I don't care 
what you grow up to be. I'm more concerned about who you are and the type of person you are and how you treat other people. Your occupation matters at nothing, nothing to me. What school you go to, don't really care. Who are you and what impact we have on the world based on how you treat other people? So let's do that today. Let's start teaching them how to treat other people by this love revolution. So step in, mentor, and love on some kids and start posting about this stuff. Post it down here in YouTube. Post it on the Facebook page, uh, on the website. Start making comments. I want to know how is it going, your challenge to yourself to start living and walking out some of these things and shifting perspectives. So thanks for sticking with me on my rant today about parenting and mentoring our kids. Go love on some. Now, come on, let me love you and kiss away.